All right, guys. We are almost there. Here's the moon. It's about to catch us in its orbit. And what a strange orbit. We're going to be going backwards, actually. It's really strange. Anyway, so here we go. There we go. We're now caught in the moon's gravity. Um, but we aren't in orbit yet. We need to get into a counter burn. Here we go. At the periapsis, we're going to turn our ship around. And there we go, there we go, there we go. And now we're going to counter burn. You can see our speed is slowing down a lot. Um, things are happening. We're still just running on that middle engine. But you see, it, it barely takes any fuel at all. So, I don't mind burning this one, but the others really eat fuel. Not as bad as big rockets, but they still eat fuel compared to this one. Um, when I make my interplanetary uh, rockets, they'll have a lot of these atomic ones. Because you can just burn them forever with no fuel. So, oh, here we go. Here we go. It's coming around. It's coming around. And... Boop. Let's get that smaller. In fact... Let's get it down to like 10,000 feet. So there's the periapsis. That's what we gotta look at. And coming down, coming down. Here we go. Four hundred thousand. All right, we better get ready to slow down or throttle down. Here we go, getting closer. I want to get it to like 11,000. Whoop, 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 8,000 might be too close. I don't know. We'll, we'll go with it for now. Um, no, you know what? We should, we should increase it just a little bit. I'm worried that, uh, some of the stuff could be more than 8,000 above sea level. I mean, I really th I think I'd be fine, but just in case. There we go. That should be fine. All right, so let's take a look at this moon. We've been looking at the map a lot. Look at that. We're going to increase our speed some so we can get closer. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's scary to see that coming at you. Oh, oh, a little bit of lag there. And... Ooh. Who picked 11,000? That's scary. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, and we're about to counter burn to get our apoapsis down. Hopefully, it doesn't change our periapsis. Alright, we're fine. Apoapsis needs to be. Ooh. I'd say let's get it down to 15. Because I want to land on this side of the moon. I'm actually going to be aiming for right here. So. 
so let's make sure our periapsis is fine. Are we doing fine? Yeah. All right. It's going. It's going. Fuel's looking fine. And we want to get that down to 15,000. Keep watching those numbers. Whew, that is so close. Oh. Okay, okay, that's good enough. Alright, so. I'm going to fast forward to this side of the moon, and then we're going to start our landing, which is, that's the, that's the part I'm scared about. <laughs> um, but I'll come back when we are, oh, holy crap. Our periapsis changed to 8,000, but it looks like we're going to be fine. There's a ridge right there that I don't think I would have been fine on, but I think we're going to be fine otherwise. So let's go back to the map. And yeah, I'll be back I'll be right back when we get to the apoapsis. Okay. So I realized that I do not want to be at the apoapsis because I want to land here. So Literally right now is when I should be counter burning, so I'm gonna flip my ship around. Name for the backwards mark. I literally want to land right there, so. Okay, ship. Calm down. Okay. SAS is not cooperating with me. Alright, there we go. And we are counter burning. And so this is going to stop being in orbit. Yep, there we go. And hopefully we can make it be kind of a point. I want to get it all the way. Uh, I'm gonna I wanna get to the apoapsis. Now, whoop, 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 whoop. and burn. There we go. Oh yeah. Okay. So I think we're gonna be good. Uh, remember, we still have these. Um, I'm gonna use the. I'm not. I'm gonna wait to use those until the very last second because they don't have a whole lot of fuel left in them. And their fuel is actually being fed into this one, so. But I think I actually need them right now. I want to literally land directly under me right now. disable. I need them to land. But I think that gave us enough enough momentum that we can actually do this with our regular rocket. Literally land straight below us. And And cut engines. <laughs> Basically a straight free fall into this crater. But that that's exactly what I want though. It really is. I because I wanted to cancel out all all of my horizontal movement. And this is the best way that I know of to do it. I know there are other ways, but this is the best way that I know of. So, 
another way to do it is just when you're going down at the angle, just keep burning towards the X, like the one I'm aiming at right now. If you keep burning towards that, you'll uh, eventually cancel out all of your vertical and horizontal movement. But I, I actually wanted to land in a specific spot, so... And there is a reason I'm landing here. Uh, it's kind of a surprise for everybody. I think I nailed it. In fact, I know I did. It's right there. It's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and extend my gears. There we go. And... I don't... Well, I just burn a little bit. Probably only going to get one chance at this, so I want it to be good. I want to keep an eye on my fuel. I don't want it to run out of that at the last second. We're at 3,000 meters. Um, but since this isn't a crater, it should be pretty close to zero meters, but just in case, we're going to start burning pretty hard. Alright, we're slowing down, slowing down. Oh, 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 oh. Too slow, too slow. Okay. Alright, where is our shadow? <laughs> This is really hard to judge distance without my shadow. Um. Oh shadow. Oh 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 oh. oh. There it is. Okay. And we still got some horizontal mov movement, but. Oop oop oop. Fix that RCS, fix that RCS. Whoo! 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 <laughs> wow. Whoo! Okay. So, let's see. Let's take Orfert Herman out on EVA. Ooh. I totally forgot ladders. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. The earth is, or the moon is pretty. Light on gravity. Ooh, camera. Alright. And you can see something in the distance over there. That's where we're headed. We're actually going to use this jetpack to get over there. Wow, I did a pretty good job. That was not bad. <laughs> I've had worse landings. Um, the first time I actually found this thing I'm about to show you, I landed over here in this ridge. And my ship was going down too fast. I actually ran out of fuel at the last second. And so I EVA'd really fast. And the explosion of the ship below me launched my kerbal over to this and it, I guess it saved him because he would have died if he hit the ground speaking of dying we're actually going pretty fast I should watch out because if they hit the ground going too fast they just kind of poof into a little speck of dust whoo I love the moon. Or, you know, I call it the moon, but that's just habit. It's, I mean, it is a moon, but technically I think it's named the Mun in this game. Doesn't matter, I'm calling it the moon. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and. Almost there. <laughs> It's a lot farther away than I thought it was. How much more fuel do I have? Okay. 
Got to keep an eye on that. But this is totally worth the trip. It's definitely my favorite Easter egg in the game. Which we we'll find more of these more Easter eggs. That's that is definitely something I plan on doing. In fact, I know of two more on the moon, one of which I've never seen before. So, here we go. Take, take it, land, land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Through it. <laughs> All right. Well, let me get the uh let me get the lighting over a little bit so we can actually see it. No, stop moving. Stop <laughs> Little known fact, kerbals are made out of ice. <laughs> Alright, let's get this rotating. There we go. That should be enough to see it. And this is a tribute they added in point one seven to uh Neil Armstrong, of course the first man on the moon. Uh I think it's just really awesome. It they shared pictures of it before they released it. And so this is the actually the first place I went to in point one seven. And it's just an awesome, awesome tribute. Um yeah, that What a great monument. Anyway, just came to pay my respects, but I think it's about time that we head back home. Whew. So, see you, Neil. And we're off. Ah. <sighs> Well, I landed next to it, <laughs> but uh, he decided he wanted to keep going. Superman! Let's try that again. How much fuel? 13% fuel. Alright, so we have to get up there. No way I can jump up there. So we're going to have to use our little thruster pack. Oh my gosh, okay. 3% fuel. Here we go. One shot at this. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay. Whew. Whew. Almost had to leave Orford behind. Okay, so, I guess it's time to head back home. Here we go. So I'm going to burn at this angle right here because there is no atmosphere, so... Oh, and here we go. Stage. Beautiful. Okay. So, our apoapsis is increasing. Always a good sign. We're kind of turning a little bit, though. Did we lose our SAS? 
That's what. No, that's our SAS. Okay. Huh. Okay. No, it's still working. It's still working. Okay. It just doesn't have any control over our spin. That's fine. I don't care about that. All right. So as soon as our apoapsis hits uh, fifteen, twenty thousand around there, we're going to um, stop burning and wait till we get there, and then we're gonna continue to burn at the apoapsis to increase the periapsis so we can get an orbit around the moon and then the rest of it's really easy because the the Kerbin is the planet so once we get out of the moon we're automatically in orbit with Kerbin so let's take a look I think we're probably about there almost almost we're actually making good headway on our orbit here uh, we'll hit 17.5 boom there we go and we'll speed to it and here we go aim towards the I need to learn the name of this. <laughs> I'm gonna call it the yellow circle though. And there we go, we're burning that direction. See you nil. And that's where we're headed. Screenshot. Uh, I need to set up a moon base here. I really do. Preferably in that crater. I really like that crater. Or maybe just like right outside of it right here. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I might have to do that for an episode. Um, but actually, speaking of episodes, the next episode that I do, I'll probably be headed back to the moon with a different spaceship of course but uh i'll probably head back here and i want to find the moon arc and i want to actually land on the moon arc which is tough that's really tough um the moon arc is uh i don't is it arc or arch i can't i can never remember but uh it's just a an arch shape an arch shaped uh or an arch shaped uh, kind of rock on the moon, giant, really giant, and um, I feel like I don't, I don't remember where it is. I feel like it's right here. I've actually I've only been there once. I've actually been to the Neil Armstrong place twice because I like that monument so much. Oh 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 oh! No 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 no! Okay, I guess we're gonna go in, and kind of figure eight. We're gonna go. Shoo, shoo. So we're going to go ahead and make that burn. And there we go. Start our burn. Perfect. And we should see this hit the or intercept with the Kerbin. I keep calling it Earth, don't I? This should intercept with Kerbin in a few seconds. So we're just going to keep watching that till it happens. Wow, I didn't know that the moon had this much influence. Wow, a million meters and we're still not connected? Come on. There we go. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens if we keep burning. Not what we want to. Okay. Okay, that was a bad idea. I'm gonna counter burn. I'm gonna counter burn a little bit to counteract that. 
Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Good. All right. Perfect. So it's time to say goodbye to the moon. See ya, moon. Huh. Look at that. That should be where I land. For the moon colony. Wow, that's gorgeous. I love this game, and it keeps getting prettier. Like, they they just redid the sun in this latest patch, and oh my gosh, it's pretty. Look at that. Screenshot that. Let me... Me. I'm gonna get a screenshot of this real fast. And screenshot, screenshot. Gorgeous. All right. So are we? No, we aren't in the influence yet. We'll just keep going. Bye, moon. And hello. Cool. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we are now in the influence of Kerbin. So it's time to counter burn while we are way out here. That way. With our little little bit of rocket, we can actually change the periapsis. So here we go. Get that lined up. Burn. Oh yeah. Let's see if that's changing things. It is. Now we're we're just we're literally going to wait until this touches Kerbin. Like, I don't need to orbit anything anymore. I'm just headed home, so. Just gonna keep burning until this is non existent. Keep going, keep going. Let's check my fuel. Fuel is fine. I love these rockets, they're so good. Look at all these little attachments I had to this. That was fuel, and then struts. And, oh. Getting close, getting close. There we go. And now... I am so confident that I will hit that, that I will do this. There we go. I can't control the ship any longer. Hopefully my confidence won't hurt me. I'm sure it will though. Ooh. Let's see. Okay. Alright. So we're making this entrance. Look at that speed. Oh my gosh. 3.2k meters per second. I just... Just think about that for a second. Think about how many football fields or... Oh, like, like how many skyscrapers? Like, how many skyscrapers could you climb up at three thousand meters per second? That's just crazy. But here we go. I've actually entered the atmosphere, so the air is actually slowing me down. And holy crap! Look how close we are to uh, 
where we took off. I couldn't. <laughs> that was totally planned. No, that was not totally planned. Wow, I'm so impressed right now. There's our space station. We're just going to be landing right next to it. Wow. <laughs> I really, like, you can't plan that. That's impossible. No, I won't say impossible. I've, I've seen some people who are just ridiculous at this game, but... Landing this close, detaching that far away, I don't know if that's something that can be planned. You'd have to do a lot of math to figure that out. But here we go. We're actually dropping pretty fast. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> There's the parachute. And look at that. Safe and sound. Back home. First try. I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was not expecting to get that on the first try. <laughs> oh. Feels good. <sighs> there's a there's actually a couple of Easter eggs around the uh, space center. I might take you to see those in the next episode. In the next episode, we go to the moon arc. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, my name is Shivo, and I'll see you later.